Welcome back to JL Quiz TV. Today we'll be discussing how to tie a four in hand knot. I'm going to put all of my emphasis on the knot itself. All right, just a, a guidance for length. A good idea is to make sure that the end of the tie kind of ends up at the bottom of your crotch, and that should give you a good, uh, a good, a good range as far as how long the tie will tie itself. And when your tie is tied, it should end up uh, roughly at your belt buckle when you're standing up. Uh, but again, I'm going to put all of my emphasis on how to make sure the knot is correct in the four in hand. Uh, I use a four in hand mainly because I think it's um, it's just a personal preference, but mainly because it just works best with a more casual collar, and I'm always in some sort of Oxford button down, something more, more with a point, and it's a great knot for something like that. Uh, the complaint against the four in hand is that it is not big enough to fill up a widespread collar, but later on down the road, I will show you a version of the four in hand that works great uh, for that widespread collar as well. So what we'll do is we take the thick part here, and we put it over the skinnier part, we do that, and that creates this X shape. And then you take the thick part you just put over and you bring it under back here. I like to hold it here. And you're going to take this part and throw it back over. And what you'll see here is you're going to create a loop right where my finger is. That loop is what's going to create your knot later on uh, down the road here. And then once you throw this part over, you have this hole here. This part of your tie is going to come through. And then the loop you just created, you're going to pull the rest of the tie through that loop to actually pull it tight. So allow me to pull it through here. And you'll see it's coming through like so. And then what I like to do is you can kind of see it's starting to form a, a, natural, a natural little dimple here. And the dimple to me is kind of that mark that shows that you really know what you're doing as far as tying a tie goes. I think it's a mark of someone who's been uh, who takes pride in what they're doing. So what you do is you can kind of put your finger right already where that, that little rivet right there is, pull it tight, and then you just bring it up to your neck, and you can see the shape of the tie there. We've got our dimple right. Pull your collar down. Button your collar if you like. Uh, some people say you should. I don't always do it. Uh, it just depends on my mood that day. Again, you're tight. And then what you could also do, you know, is you could also put it on a tie bar to kind of pop it a little bit more. The nice thing about it is it should be tight enough to where the tie kind of protrudes off the shirt by itself. Uh, makes it a little bit more natural. And again, you can see the dimple here. And then it makes that triangle shape, and you're perfect. So if you have any questions about how to tie the uh, forehand hand knot, feel free to email me at jd at jlquist.com. If not, I hope that is a uh, good start. Looks pretty good to me. Thanks so much.